Hello and welcome to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I thought I would make a couple of Christmas cards. It is finally Christmas in July. So here I have the Better Press Club from Spellbinders which is this really adorable car. You can press out the car by itself, but there are some really fun additional elements that you can add. So there's this Christmas tree that is um, intentionally cut off at the bottom there because it's meant to kind of tuck into the truck trunk of the car. And then there are two sentiment plates that allow you to add a sentiment onto the back of the car. So really, really fun. Now this is a better press registration set, which means that you can actually press out the full design in multiple passes so that you can have different elements of the car be pressed in different colors. So for example, the first pass, I will press out the car in blue and then the registration acetate has an outline of the of the full car so that I can actually line up the uh, plate for the car where it needs to go, press that through first, and then I can position the tires on the car and I know exactly where they go. Um, and then I can press it in a different color on a second pass. And that gives me a, uh, a car image that is um, kind of makes a little bit more sense so that the tires are actually a different car, a different color to the actual um, body of the car. Now, better pressing is so fast, so easy to do that I, um, I went ahead and made two sets. Often I do that just so that if I uh, have a little bit of a boo-boo, I have a backup. But uh, what I thought I would do today in this video is actually I'll show you how um, the card looks as just a regular card without any lights. And then I'll show you how to light up the same version. And that way you can kind of see what both versions look like and how um, if you've never used uh, lights before to light up a card, um, how the construction of the card is a little bit different. So I'm going to start off with um, the regular version. I've fussy cut the car out and I even cut a slit through um, the center where the trunk is. You don't really need to do that, but I thought it would um, be nice to tuck the tree in there so that it really feels like it's inside. Uh, totally optional to do, of course. I've got some low profile foam here, which is just about a millimeter, maybe 1.5 millimeter thick. And I already have an embossed panel that I uh, actually trimmed down a little bit smaller than my card base. That panel is four inches wide by five and a quarter tall. And my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. I really like that look of white embossed onto a white card base with a little bit of a border of the card base still showing. I feel like it just looks very classic and very clean. And here I've got one of the two sentiments, um, which does have a coordinating die to cut it out. And I've got another little bit of that low profile foam on that piece as well. The low profile foam is really good because it is so thin you can actually you know double up. You could probably even add a, a third layer and it still wouldn't trigger additional postage. Now um, the tree in this set does have a coordinating die and as well there's a die that cuts out all of these fun little um, like mounds of snow that you can you can add to your scene you can add to your car and I'm sure that some of them were designed to go in some very specific spots because some of them have a little bit of a curvature to them. Um, there's some really small ones, which I think work really great on the side view mirrors. There's some longer strips, um, but really I just put them wherever looked, um, looked good to me <laughs> and I encourage you to do the same. So that's 
a very lovely, really simple uh, card, which I think would be great for the holidays. Perfect if you're mass producing um, holiday cards as well. I think that one came together so fast. But here's how we can take it up a notch and light up that very same card. And I did do this card first, which is why you kind of see all of the elements still um, on my uh, tabletop. I just thought for the purpose of the video, it would make more sense to see the more simple version first and then to see, you know, how the construction differs if you were to light it up. So I'm going to start with the car and poking some holes through the tail lights. This allows the light to actually come through and shine a little bit brighter. I uh, lost a bit of footage there, but what I did was I lined up my car onto my embossed panel, which has not been glued down to my card base yet, and I poked holes through my embossed panel um, to line up exactly with my car because the lights the battery, all the wires, that will all be hidden by this embossed panel. And I still want that light to be able to shine through nice and bright. So that's why I want to poke some holes, not only through the embossed panel, but also through the car so that it really shines. If, um, and you'll see later the difference it makes poking those holes versus not. Because I'm actually using the Easy Lights by Pear Blossom Press. And if you're not familiar with these lights, there are three LEDs. They're super small, really flat, so they don't add a lot of bulk to your card. And they are all wired and connected and ready to go. Everything is wired to a battery holder. And when you buy a set of any of the Pear Blossom Press lights, they do come included with batteries. That way you don't have to find the right size, the right type of batteries, and have an additional separate purchase. You have everything that you need um, to add the lighting unit to your card. Now here I've got some of the world's best foam tape. I've cut down some strips and I am placing these very carefully um, pretty much around the entire card card front. Um, I did mark where my lights would go so on my card base. So I do know uh, roughly where the lights go. Uh, need to go and I know roughly where my battery needs to go. So I've reserved some space. That's why there's an empty spot in that lower right hand corner. That's where my battery will be. I've taped two of the LEDs to the back of my embossed panel and I put them right up against the holes that I poked through. And that way it's going to shine nice and bright. And there's still a third light though. We've lit up our two tail lights, but what to do with the third light? Well, I don't like for any of the lights to go to waste. And so what I thought I might do is actually um, light up the inside of the car as if it's uh, a kind of like the cabin light is in on the car. So I'm going to position my um, my battery here so that it lines up with where I stamped out the word press. So it's directly underneath. And um, the nice thing about the Pear Blossom Press World's Best Foam is that you have 30 minutes or so where that foam is repositionable. So if you needed to peel up the panel, just as you saw me do a moment ago, you can still do that and it won't tear up your cardstock. It's really, really magical in that way. And um, once it's had a chance to cure fully and that adhesive has a chance to um, hold firm, it becomes permanent afterwards. So about you know 24 hours later. So I um, have lined up my car so that the two holes of my tail light match perfectly with the holes that were um, poked through the embossed panel. 
And now I can add my additional elements. So I've got my Christmas tree, I've got my little snow mounds, and as well, I have the uh, sentiment plates that I can add to the back of my car. And I'm gonna try not to use too much more uh, foam or anything too dimensional because the Pear Blossom Press um, foam, it is about three, maybe three and a half millimeters thick because it does have to accommodate the, um, the battery holder. So that is one thing that you do want to um, take note of. This is not going to be a super flat card. It'll still fit just fine in a uh, regular envelope, so it's not super thick. And I have found that it actually doesn't trigger extra postage, but just depending on how much more you add to it, it, it could. Um, but in any case, it might be good to um, ship this with a present or in a box so that your um, battery doesn't drain if something heavy were to be placed on top of it. So here's a close-up look at um, both of the cards. This is actually the flat card that does not light, light up. So you can see how lovely that better pressing is. I feel like uh, better pressing is a lot easier for me than stamping. <laughs> it looks great every time. And here's the version that is lit up. So you can kind of see they look the same, but they have this has the lovely interaction where you can push the button to light up the cards. Now you can see how bright the taillights are, but look at the cabin light inside the car. It's a lot softer because it's actually behind two layers of cardstock without any holes pierced through them. So there's a lot more of that light being blocked. I hope that you enjoy this look at two cards that are the same, but one taken up a notch and fully lit up. Let me know which version you prefer. Thanks for checking out my video today and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.